Let's bring in the Bonson Group founder, managing partner, and chief investment officer, David Bonson. David, great to see you. I'm so excited to have you on the back of the interview with Anson Frerichs because I think you've got a little different take on J.D. Vance. What do you make of the conversation we just had? Well, I agree that there are certain elements that I like, and I'm all for anyone who's pro-little tech and pro-VC. And so I encourage that uh, support of capital markets, of risk-taking, of innovation. My problem is the belief that all of these problems are because of the big guy hurting the little guy. When it's government getting involved or where it's business seeking the protection and partnership of government, I'm against it. But the last thing I want is to further empower the government there. I'm not looking for the FTC chair to become the czar of this element of the economy. (laughs) And that's really what we're looking at here with some of this big government, even sometimes Republican big governmentism, is it's empowering the regulatory state too much. And so while I'm sympathetic to a lot of J.D. Vance, this is one area where I do disagree. Okay, let me ask you about Kamala Harris, because it's interesting the point that you're making. Many people are saying, you know, she's from California, you're from California, and that her record is actually pretty left, pretty progressive. That's not something that this country necessarily has appetite for right now, especially after the last three and a half years. I'm wondering what you think her appeal will be, because many will say what they would have said for Gavin Newsom which is if you elect her to be president, we're going to end up like California. Well, all we have to do is look back to what happened in 2020 is there was a primary going on and they nominated Joe Biden because he was the more centrist, moderate one compared to the people on stage, which included Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren and yes, Kamala Harris, who were talking about Green New Deal and Medicare for all getting rid of private insurance, all sorts of crazy tax increases, et cetera. That really ended her campaign by being too far to the left. So at this point, politically, which is not really what I do, I'm more on the economics and finance side, but politically, it's whoever defines her first. Mm -hmm. If she's going to define herself as a centrist, then she could end up winning this election. But she is no centrist. She's a radical far left winger and, and that goes beyond the culture issues. It yep. goes into the economic ones as well. David Bonson in California, but not of California, as I like <laughs> to say. Good to see you, sir.